On the last free preset Friday, we gave away this preset, a sort of text reveal that flawlessly uh, loops made of particles that reveal whatever you type into it. It's super cool. It's also an effect that I made a tutorial for years ago and just never made it available as a free preset. And today I'm doing the same thing. Well over two years ago now, I made this smooth 3D text reveal effect. And today, I am releasing it as a free preset for you all. As always, the link in the description will take you over to sterlingsupply.co where you can grab this as a free preset. Um, feel free to browse the other dozens of free presets as well as some of the paid uh, presets, plugins, and templates I offer there. Whether you grab one of those or choose to look into the uh, membership I offer there, which offers some exclusive behind the scenes and stuff like that. Any way you choose to support me, uh, my work in this channel is massively appreciated. I, I could not do any of this without that support. So uh, let's look at this cool free preset. As you can see, it starts with this sort of like flat face and then this text comes out in 3D space and reveals this really cool subtle shadow underneath. And in the inspector, we have tons of useful controls. Some of them super useful, you know, like changing up the text to say something like text, wow. Um, but at the very bottom, we have some more like complicated settings um, that are really here um, to be something you can play with and dial in to help with performance. This is a 3D effect and especially some of the shadow work um, can be heavy on some computers. You will note that by default, this is set to hardware renderer. I'm not super sure um, how this will like present on all the different computers that you might use this effect on. I believe this hardware renderer um, exists because of the GPU I have. Um, if you set this over to the default, I believe software renderer, um, even on my system, that takes a lot longer. But I kind of feel like for some of you that might be your only option. So just be prepared. This effect could be beefy on some systems. Don't forget you can come up to playback render cache, toggle that onto smart and it should recognize this effect and then cache it as you go and you'll have smooth playback there. But let's walk through some other presets. Of course, you can change this to whatever you want. And then we have two controls to deal with the animation. You'll notice it sort of sequentially plays this animation. And first we have the text animation duration. This is built on the follower node for this 3D text. And this you can kind of think of as the speed for the entire presentation to play out. It's not exact frames or seconds or anything of like, like that. Um, but if you want it faster, you know, bring it down to 10 or something and then It'll be faster. You want it a lot slower. It can go a lot slower. Underneath that, we have character animation speed. And this is how fast each individual letter will reveal itself. So if I crank this up to something like five, then each letter will go boom, 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 boom. Pa, pa, pa. So you can get, get different looks by just mixing this up. Next, we have some text controls like the font, the color, the size, tracking and a line spacing if you have multiple like and, and subscribe uh, if you have a multiple lines and it bumped this line up but hey you have this text offset underneath it if you just want to you know reposition that and then Cool. You can change the background color if you would like. And then you have some lighting settings. Number one, the intensity on this light, which is sort of like generating that shadow. You have the decay type by default with this no decay. Looks pretty normal. Um, I would probably recommend keeping this at no decay. If you bump it up to quadratic, you then have to like really ramp up this light intensity. Um, you can sort of play with these options for more looks. That's what I went with. I just gave people all the kind of options I used when setting this up and I'm gonna let you sort of play with it if you want. But then you also have the cone angle for this light, uh, the penumbra, which is like sort of how sharp that edge is, as well as this like drop off control. So you can get lots of different looks. Oh, that's cool. It hits the 3D at different levels. Huh. I talked about the renderer type and then uh, I have shadow density. So specifically for the shadow that is being added, if you want it a little darker, you got that density and then shadow map size, softness and constant softness are again with this shadow. Shadow map size, if you really need better performance, you can pull this down, but you'll notice if you get crazy with it, it starts to look really bad. And if even if you not don't get too crazy with it, depending on your settings, this uh, shadow will start to sort of like creep up to the letters in an interesting way I don't always love. This might be the biggest like speed control that you can bring down. If you really need better performance, pull this down. 
Um, and the softness on the shadow here as well. If you want those hard lines, you can bring it down there or like really ramp it up into something softer, which again, will impact for performance. Hopefully with all those options, you might already be thinking of some cool ideas. You can mix and match this or change colors or the shadow. Um, I think you could create lots of different looks pretty quickly. So if you like some simple like 3D title stuff without having to recreate an entire 3D scene yourself, I got you. Go check it out. I'll link in the description to the website. Look around there if you like it as well. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.